Hello, Assalamualaikum and good morning YouTube. My name is Nor Muhammad and I am back with another watch review. So, <laughs> today watch the watch in question is the Zurina um, Def Charge ZV01. Okay, so before we do the we start the show, so I need I want to do a wristwatch check today. I'm wearing a a Satira DS podium. All right, so we will get into this watch review later after I do this video. So let's first let's get back into the watch. Okay, so this is a humongous, a very very huge watch for my wrist. Um, out of the three watches that I borrow for my from my friend for this review, I've only I I, I didn't use this one because it's too big. It's too heavy for me. So yeah, for a big big macho guys out there yeah this watch is for you okay i'll tell you what okay so let's as usual i will start with the least interesting feature of the watch okay so yes we have this uh strap a leather strap i think this is a calf leather which features a sign zurina of inside there at the back and just you can see the quality of stitching is quite good for a hong kong based company a, it features said mentioned here that this is a Hong Kong based company, but a, uh, but founded by a Canadian, right? So yeah. Anyway, I I've never heard of the brand before, but yeah, it it's quite quite cool. Okay. So yeah, and we have this one single keeper, for obviously no sorry two keepers one one fixed and one is adjustable, and it's very very soft. And features this um, I'm not sure this mentioned here 316 L steel and we have a sign buckle Zurina over here okay so at the front yes it's very very nice it's soft and supple and yeah I do like the strap but this is a 24 mil strap it's too big for me okay so let's get to the case the case is a 48 millimeters uh, 48 millimeters uh, diameter and it is uh, it is a 15 millimeters height the i think the lug to lug is about 54 which is too big for my wrist okay so we'll do a wrist watch later sorry wrist uh, wrist <laughs> we'll do a wrist check later using this watch okay so yes as you can see here it features a dlc uh, diamond light carbon coating or is it diamond diamond light carbon coating yep i think uh-huh and yes it's the same here as well it is uh, not i think this is a bleed blasted and then later carbon coated and we have this bezel which is really, really f i think the the bezel essence is nice it's quite stiff not as good as the uh, seiko uh, party kinetic that we've reviewed before but yeah very nice and there's no Back play, which is really, really cool but whether it is useful or not when you dive i'm not sure because yeah <laughs> anyway but even the panerai that it is a uh, homage to it doesn't have you know it's quite difficult to read the, the in this uh, markings also right so yeah i i'm not really sure how it is useful in the diving environment so yeah i'm not going to comment on that okay so yeah and of course this is a homage watch for the i'm not i'm <laughs> i don't really sure yeah it's a homage to the radio panerai radio mir egiziano yeah i'm not sure what is that but yeah <laughs> i'm not really a panerai uh, fan myself so uh, i i'm I, I don't really sure i'm not really sure okay so let's get into the the uh, the dial the dial featured a sandwich dial which uh, the loom is actually under the under the um the, the the main surface or the the first layer so you can see here it's quite um there's a fog inside it okay so i'm not sure because here you can see there's a one two three four five six screws on this case back i so i'm not really sure how did my friend uh use it but it is fogged but it's still working but it's already fogged so he has to he said to me that he will at some point of time send it for a uh, for a service okay so yes this is a lefty crown i'm a lefty lefty myself so yes you, you need, this is a spun right style so you need to take this off and to, to first position not not first position you just at this position you can wind it yep 
Oh, sorry. This is this features a Unitas. Let's see what's the model number. Yep, Unitas ETA six four nine seven movement. It is a seventeen joules and with, and has a twenty one thousand six hundred uh, bits per hour. Okay, so as you can see here, the winding action is very very nice. Yep, and you can see that the second hand is already ticking away. Okay, so the first position when you pull pull it off, you can adjust the time, and it does nothing nothing else. Okay, so yeah, you can see there, and put it back to the first position and lock it off. Okay, so um, yes, we will. You can see that it fit it said here Swiss made maybe because of the movement, and yeah, we will shall see how it looks on my wrist. Okay, so let's see. Yep, there you see on my six point seven five inch race, it is huge and it somehow I don't know overpowers my race and so I never really used it on the uh, outside. <laughs> so I can't really use this uh, to go, you know, to have a walk or something like that. So it's too heavy. Okay, so let's see how the loom looks like. So let's charge charge it up a bit and shut off the lights. Okay. Yep. As you can see, I think this is a C3 Super Luminova, which is really really cool. It is quite a good uh, loom, but it is not. It doesn't really stay that long. Yes, it's bright now, but it will it will not be bright after a few, you know, uh, maybe one one hour. Okay, so not really that great. Which you know, I'm used to Seiko, so yeah, I don't. <laughs> so yeah, you know, we are too. Um, yeah, you used to Seiko, so that is why we hope for quite a better charge uh, compared to uh, the Seiko, right? So. As a conclusion, mm, this is definitely not for me. <laughs> it's too large. If you are a big seven wrist, seven inch wrist, or seven point five inch wrist guy, maybe you can you can you can pull this off, but definitely not for me. All right. So, how about resale value and stuff? Yeah, I'm not sure about that either. But yeah, if you are a big, big macho guy and you want something bulky and looks. And you know, really, really uh, stealth, stealthy. Yes, you could go for this one. Okay, so sorry about that. Okay, so to end my review, uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more contents like this, okay, so uh, please uh, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you on the next one. But till next time, bye bye.